hope you've noted all well. This is my second attempt at doing this because the first one, the sound quality was abysmal. So the picture quality is not going to be quite as good on this, but at least the sound quality should be there. I'm going to do a quick re food recap review and I'm going to do it quick. So save time. I'll start off with the Grow Onion Barge and Mango Chutney Sandwiches, which came in a co-op meal deal. I'm going to give them a 6 out of 10. They're not bad. They're not bad. I tried The first time I tried them, I wasn't that keen, but I had them again. Um, I saw Family 4 Explore have them and I thought, I'm going to give them another go and I'll give them 6 out of 10. Plant Chef Meat Free Chicken Style Pieces. They buy them in a pack. I give them 7 out of 10. I tried the Spiced, the Wicked Kitchen Spiced. I want to get this right spiced apple pie and i've got it on a yellow label which we all love don't we so and i gave that 7.5 out of 10 so i was really surprised and pleasantly surprised and enjoyed that um iggy family kitchen spinach and roasted tomato vegan quiche i have this so often at the moment it's the time of year i've got to give it a 9 out of 10 little very little room for improvement it's a great the only downside is the price is 4.25 green cuisine powered by plants two seven fried grills I picked these up when they were on offer. I'm going to give them 8 out of 10. They're a really good product. I do enjoy them. If you've got room in the freezer. Uh, this was the best, probably the best surprise of everything. Second best surprise of everything I've come across lately. Green cuisine, powered by plant, two fishless battered fillets. They are gorgeous. 9.5 out of 10. Even better than the same for his own brand ones, which I frequently get. I picked them up on offer for £2 from £3. They're normally £3, so they're dearer than the same for his own brand, but they are a really good product. I picked up some um, poured barbecue chunks, poured barbecue chunks, and they were on offer. I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10. They're great. I'm sorry if I'm doing this fast. It's just, like I said, it's the second time. I got the Tesco's taco kit, which comes with the tacos, the seasoning, and the salsa. Um, I use it quite frequently. I can't criticise it. So 8.5 out of 10. It's not bad value for money. First time I've had these in a long time. Plant Chef, two garlic Kievs. I was disappointed. Give them 6 out of 10 because I, I was disappointed. It's a shame to say that, but I was. Then I got some Alphaz Moroccan spiced couscous. Now I'm allergic to nuts and peanuts and all that. So it's got some pine nuts in. I just took them out. It wasn't an ideal. When you boil it, it I took them out basically and that was great i'm going to give that 7.5 out of 10. it made me respect and appreciate couscous more because i've never been the biggest fan plant chef four meat free no lamb and mint koftas looked forward to trying them so disappointed i made the tzatziki sauce and everything for it tzatziki sauce sorry i gave them four out of ten and i'm being generous at three out of ten actually three out of ten now richmond meat free meatballs I always have a problem with Richmond because of their, they use the worst products and the sausages and I've known that for years but I know vegans completely different ball game. Um, you've got to take your hats off to them with their bacon and their vegan sausages and their ba vegan bacon I should say. Um, give them 8.5 out of 10. They're great. They are genuinely great like the bacon. Um, over the spoon trifles. They're little mini pots. They were on offer for a pound. They're normally 150 which is quite expensive for a small dessert and I'm a greedy bugger so... But I'm going to give that 8.5 out of 10. Meatless Farm Mints, plant-based. It was on offer. I picked it up and I had them with the tacos. Uh, great product, 8.5 out of 10. You're thinking, hey, he's given a lot of high scores here, but you wait for this one. The ZZ Rustic Pizza. Vegan jackfruit pepperoni with chilli oil to drizzle. It was blimmin' awful. It was absolutely awful. Two out of ten. That's probably the lowest vegan score I've ever given. I've heard great things about ZZ's. Um, would I try a vegan pizza if I ever went there? I'd have to because they haven't got much more I could try. But that was absolutely the pants. And that's never buying it again. Wouldn't give it another chance. Um, I went to a vegan um, fair in Stroud. I went to a food festival and they had a vegan store in Stroud when I saw Matt Pritchard. And I bought some vegan honey. And you can see the jar's gone. It's a 230 gram jar. My biggest gripe with this is it was five pound for the jar. So expensive, but it was supporting a small business who's setting up a shop in Stride, so I'd be looking forward to trying that. That was my gripe with it. I'll give it for the only alternative eight out of ten. They do different types. Um I went for the traditional one, which I oh it says with prebiotics and natural land have to and with Inulin or something, so I'll put that there. 
plant based, original infusion. It was written from any alternative, it's fantastic, but it's basically sugar syrup, flavoured sugar syrup, let's be honest. But good to have an alternative for any day. Pactas plant based lentil jar frazy. I'm going to give that 7.5 out of 10. Alfair's Moroccan Star Meatball Tagine Sauce, which I picked up on offer at Tesco's, and I've got some in the cupboard for more. Having that with the sauce with the vegan meatballs, which I used the fingers first, which I'm going to use in a minute, and um, the t um, and the couscous, fantastic. I'm going to give that 9 out of 10. I cannot criticise that in any way. I frequently have, I usually always have one of these on the go, but I haven't got one. Sometimes it's roasted, sometimes it's raw, the sunflower butter. Love it. 9 out of 10. I went to the Chapman Food Festival last weekend. I had a lovely Moroccan star dish there. It was fantastic and I did a little short on it. So so the coconut collab, the gut gut off. I tried that and they gave it me in a nice sized pot actually with some straw, fresh strawberries and blueberries. It was gorgeous. They gave me that pot, which is really generous and kind of them. They followed me on Instagram as well. So really appreciate that. Guys, um, I'm gonna give it nine out of ten. Next time I try it, I might go up. I might go down. You know, I'm going to be fair and genuine on this. I also had the. I've got others in the fridge still, but I had the mango, and I paid for these. Uh, but they were they were on store prices. In Tesco's, these are two seventy five. They were selling them pots for two pound each. They gave me that free. They were generous like that. So the mango and passion fruit. I had that last night. It was gorgeous. It really was. I'm going to give that nine point five out of ten. I mean, I get the gut out when it's got different priorities, but they're a really good brand. And um, a couple more first. I had this with the tagine, this green cuisine, succulent meat-free meatballs. Nine out of ten, they're great. Better naked bacon rashers without the oink. 8.5 out of 10. I had these last night. Viva era plant steaks. I didn't do a short on it, I don't think. Um... Really good. They're on offer at the moment. I think they're two fifty from three pound, three pound fifty normally. I'll give them eight point five out of ten. I'll have them again. I just you know, I don't know. This isn't pork sausages, and I know the dates there. They've been in the freezer. They were great. I mean, this isn't pork. This the this isn't range, which are um, crowdfunded at the moment. They're a really good range, aren't they? So I'm going to give them nine out of ten. They they look like sausages. They taste like sausages. I know they're not technically what's a sausage, eh? But yeah. Really good. I got the Grow, which is a co-op range, red velvet latte, three out of ten. I wasn't a fan. I really wasn't a fan. Sorry, it was part of a meal deal, which was the fun. Now I'm going. I'm doing a big experiment. I'm not going to talk about it because I've the last time I did. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I tore me Achilles, so now I've been going to the chiropractor since. Luckily now I'm in, on the mend, and my next one's on August the sixteenth. So I'm trying these as part of a challenge that I'm doing, the Yule range. Um, they do a protein powders and all the rest, but these are already made up. They are expensive. I've got this from, I picked this one up from Tesco's, it's 500 mil, and they charge, it was three pound, but they normally charge 350. So that is a really expensive luxury product, but they, they taste gorgeous and the, the texture, the consistency. I picked this one up at my local gym I go to, the sorted caramel. And then the gym, they charge for 50 But then again, I don't be a gym making a little bit of money on the side for supplying things. I've got the vanilla one, which is currently on offer at Sainsbury's in the fridge. I haven't tried it yet. I've got a few in the fridge, like the yogurts. I'm just going through that phase at the moment. And I'm just going to quickly do something. I'm being attacked by a cat here. Be Zeus always. Um, for Father's Day, my daughter sponsored me marshmallow and oats, which are two blind sheep from um, Fast Farm Animal Rescue Sanctuary. And in part of the deal, you get a T-shirt, which I would have on, but unfortunately hasn't arrived yet. So you have to take this one. It's a picture with them on. I'm hoping it arrives soon so I can wear it on one of my videos. But it also came with these. And I, when it said mallows, I thought it was going to be those marshmallow-type mallow bits, but it was a range. And, you know, the bites, vanilla flavour, they were gorgeous. So I'll give them 6 out of 10. The gummy, strawberry flavour. Not a massive fan of strawberry flavor. I'll give that 4 out of 10. Can you see this attacking me here? Right back. No, it's just just too low. 
The Malarite Strawberry again, I'll give that one 4 out of 10. And they did a chocolate coated vanilla and that was really nice. I'll give that 6.5 out of 10. So they do a great range and I will look out for them in the supermarket. I've never seen them before. It was a nice gesture. They gave in a presentation box. It's something they had over from Valentine's Day. So give them an extra fire, but you got the box. And it was really nice. And it made, it was a nice finishing touch to Father's Day. So that's it. Thank you for watching. This is quite a long one, isn't it? It's over 10 minutes long. So I'm going to leave it here. I am, I have got a cat there. So, name is Zeusy Boy. He's a fuss monkey. But yeah. F sorry for the waffle. Please, if you've got this far, give it a thumbs up if it helps. Please feel free to leave a comment. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. And I appreciate the the picture quality is not good. Hopefully the sound quality is better than what I've just recorded previously. I had to change recording devices. Um, please feel free to leave a comment about anything you want. Please subscribe. That would be awesome. I'm up to 575 now. So 577, sorry. So I am slowly getting there. I just It just... The challenge isn't it it's been two and a half years and um, still going strong on it on the recording side of things so lots of shorts I know but you know and I'm waffling and I don't want to take up any more of your time so I'm just gonna say please take care stay safe until the next one thanks again for watching have a great day everyone bye